comrades, the people of the world, please be aware, EFF is your friend if you are part of the progressive forces of the world. Today we've got ambassadors here who have joined our celebrations. Yesterday we had a dinner with them when we told them without being ashamed that we are with the people of Palestine, we are with the people of Eswatini, we are with the people of Sahrawi, and we are not with Morocco, we are not with Israel, we are not with NATO, we are not with USA, because those are enemies of progress. Comrades, we want to make a call in Kenya, especially to comrade Raila Odinga, stop doing what you are doing. Do not disrupt Kenya. We need peace in Kenya. The president, William Ruto, was democratically elected in Kenya. I will not allow you to use the people of Kenya to destabilize the peace of Kenya. We say to President Munangagwa, stop disrupting the peace of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is going to election. Allow the Zimbabweans to make their choice in a democratic manner without any form of intimidation. Comrades, we want peace in Ethiopia. We want peace in the DRC. Comrades, we want to make sure that BRICS is strengthened and BRICS is an alternative to Europe and America. We are with President Putin and we want to say to President Putin, it is not us South Africans who refused you from coming into the country. It is Ramaphosa, the coward Ramaphosa, who could not guarantee that we will not arrest Putin. We are Putin and Putin is us and we will never support imperialism against President Putin. Comrades, America is threatening us with African Growth and Opportunity Act that if we don't arrest Putin, they are going to take away Agoa. They can take away Agoa and leave us with our sovereignty and leave us with our foreign policy. We must have the capacity to take a decision of our own. We call on the President of the People's Republic of China, India and Brazil not to come to BRICS summit in solidarity with President Putin. They must say, you touch one of us, you touch all of us. <laughs> Comrades, we need to be loyal to the discipline of our organization. Comrades, we must refuse to be part of the Commonwealth. There is nothing common about the Commonwealth except that we are all colonized by Britain. As a revolutionary party that is going to take over South Africa next year, we are going to leave the Commonwealth. We will not be dictated by IMF. We will not be dictated by the World Bank. We will be dictated to by the people of South Africa. We want to say to Commandant Fidel Castro that we stand with the Cubans and they remain an anchor of our struggle for socialism across the world. We need peace and to silence the guns in Mali, in Burkina Faso, in, in Sudan. We need to openly, as a glorious movement, say that another African must never enjoy seeing a blood of another African. What is happening in Eastern DRC is highly unacceptable where more than 12,000 people are killed and the world is not saying anything. We need peace in the Eastern DRC. Comrades, we don't have to fight over expanding territories into Mozambique, into Central African Republic, into Congo Brazzaville, into Zambia 
including infiltrating Benin, because Africa is one. Why do you want to extend your territory as a country? For what? Because we want one Africa with one currency, with one military, with one judiciary, with one president of the United Republic of Africa. We need Africa to be bigger in order to fight all of these people. African on African violence must stop and must stop now. Dictators who are scared of democracy, please stop your nonsense now. Stop killing fellow Africans. South Africa and Africa, let's resolve everything peacefully.